hi welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to sort our data using the index lookup family function and other functions let's get started i'm going to employ you to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon to get notifications so let's dive in into our sample data set in this list in column a b and c respectively we have the list of countries country code and the population now this data is officially stored as an excel table and it's not sorted and we actually want to use formula to sort this data in alphabetical order now let's move further i'm going to come to this solution sheet in here we have the same data set so the first thing i want to do is to find the original position for instance for sweden we have how many countries we have 39 40 countries 39 countries excluding the header in row one so i want to find the original position of sweden in the list of 39 countries excluding the header so to do that i'm going to use an upper column and deploy the count if or the count ifs function so let's do that equal sign let's use the count if the singular now the count is required the range which is the same thing as criteria range one for the count ifs so i'm going to come to this data sheet and select this entire data in column b the country code and comma so i want to find the original position for sweden so to do that i'm going to use inside double quote less than or equal to then i use the ampersand to concatenate that with this value in cell b2 now this is what is called structured referencing nomenclature so close the parenthesis for the count if control enter now the original position for sweden which is the same thing as SWE for the country code is 39 on the list. So I'm going to cheat and do control C, come here, control down arrow key, then I come to cell column E, control shift up arrow key, control V to paste the formula. Now we are making sense. Now let's see, let's make sense. Now the first country is going to be Australia. Okay, because that's going to be in the position number one originally, although it's lying in position number 21 currently. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to come to cell A2. I'm going to use the row function. So to do that, I'm going to type in row. Now, the row will give me the row number of the list of the, of the reference. So press the tab key, close the parentheses now. I actually want the row to start from cell A2 that is in row 2. So when I do enter now, it's going to give me 2, which is not what I want. I actually want it to start with 1. So open the formula, minus 1, and that's going to give me 1 instead of 2. And then I'm going to copy the formula down. So we have 1, 2, 39 countries, excluding the header in row 1. So the next thing is to push in the match or the X match function so f2 to open the formula and then we pump the x match which is available in m365 or you can even use match function they're going to do the same thing so the lookup value is going to be this and then comma so the lookup r is going to be this our air power column control shift down arrow key press f4 to make it absolute and then we close the parentheses because x match perform Apt matching, okay, not approximate matching. So close the exit match, control enter, and that gave us 20. Now, this 20 simply means that Australia is currently lying in position number 21 because we have an header here in, in row one. So that's looking good. Then I copy the formula downward and then to now give me the name of the country itself is just to pump in the index powerful function okay so for the index i need to provide the array for the array i'm going to come to a data sheet and then give this list here and then put in a comma and that's going to be the array that i want to return based on the number of rows that i want to move okay so close the index control enter absolutely cool so we have australia returned okay and then we can copy the formula down this is 
Wonderful. So we have sorted the data from what we have originally to this alphabetical order. So we have Australia followed by Austria, Belgium. Now, when we come to the last row in row number 40, we have South Africa. So everything is sorted in that particular order. Now, to get rid of this, our upper column, I'm gonna just I mean, destroy or clear off the formula behind this you know, value. Control shift down arrow key, control C, Alt H V V and then that's gone. So we have an ordinary values. Then we can actually delete this, and our data is looking cool. So this is essentially how we use formula to sort our data. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share with your friend, and comment in the section below because there's a lot to come. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.